OPSPN Podcast. Live from the TAMEA studios, I'm Benji. That's Tim. Greetings. Oh, shout out to our friend. And we could crop that because now I look super fat and there's not enough of Tim. Okay, so this is no BSPN Podcast, man. We haven't been on the air since the, the Thursday or whatever. Uh, and here's uh, in the studio is JT helping us out uh, on the cameras. So if you just want to tighten it up. Uh, on today's show, man, we have a pretty packed up show. We've, we're like constipated with, it, with information. There it is. Uh, constipated with information on, uh, you know, NFL, NCAA basketball, and a couple other stuff going uh, around uh, the news. But before all that, Timmy, I know uh, we see each other every day, but I have to do this on there. How are you? <laughs> hey, I'm good, Benji. Hey, greetings. Happy uh, Wednesday. Happy hump day to y'all out Happy there. Happy hump day. And, and, uh, and belated, belated shout out birthday to our friend Cruz, who had a, a boy day uh, celebration yesterday. So shout out to our boys out there, Cruise Control, I hey. think. And the house is still standing. That was a good little jam sesh, wasn't it? It was a, a jam sesh. We had a, a whole bunch of uh, musicians from all over uh, Southern uh, California. A lot of them reside in San Diego, and they just came down and sh- you know jammed out. Plenty of drummers, plenty of bassists, plenty of guitarists and vocalists. It was it was pretty rad, man. No, that was really good. It was <laughs> shocking. Hey, <laughs> it's, I know. It's like, oh man, I thought it was gonna be another one of those, but it was a, a one of these. It was one of these. And the cleanup crew, what a great job they did this morning. Oh <laughs> yeah, man. I, ah man, I got I for the first time in a long time got tore up on a Tuesday. I haven't done that since I was doing a lot of stand up and karaoke. But uh, oh yeah, man, it was it was quite a quite a morning. You know, our, my hero saved me again. Uh, Drew B, shout out to him too. He, He's part of the cleanup crew and he's part of the rescue crew because he, he was babysitting people till like five in the morning. <laughs> Whoa, I know that sounds like a lot of fun, and in fact, it was. Let me see if I can. Oh no. Whoops, that's not the sound we wanted. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, that, we heard that one. Okay, so uh, top, top story that uh, we're going to get off with, we're, we are going to get into the bracketology today, but. Let uh, the madness begin. Uh, the NFL. NFL news and not just free agency news. Uh, the NFL has recently admitted to uh, the, you know, something they've been in, uh, denying and avoiding for a long time. Uh, it's uh, the cause about CTE, and uh, it is here. And it's a big article on the NFL on ESPN.com, just uh, talking about all the details from the beginning uh, of, of uh, you know, when the first traces were, even when when, when du- Duitson, uh shot himself. And it also has a list of the 12, 12 NFL players that uh, after their death, they donated their brain. And uh, it was, uh, you know, it, that's how they were found in different stages. Some of them, like Ken Stabler, uh, after his death, he was found. He had Alzheimer's uh, to, to the end of his career. And uh, that was one of the th- one of the, uh, the things found after. It was that he was like in a, in a very severe stage of CTE. Uh, some players right now are currently have it, and we don't even know. And the, the concern is that there's even little kids, you know, with Pop Warner and, and kids in, in high school. CTE, uh, it, it, it's a, it's a, what's it called, a de- degrading, debil- debilitating? It's a debilitating, and it's, it's, if they're saying now it's just basically a brain disorder, or, or you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's, taken, it's taken its toll. And I agree with you, Benji, on, on the America's use, you know, in regards to Pop Warner or any youth sport, uh, active or not. Uh, you know, baseball, you see it a lot as well. Um, they are, they're implementing more safety uh, structure as well as, uh, you know, safe, safety and client equipment and stuff, where, where in years past, really, research and or slash technology. I want to shout out our sound yeah. effects. We have a lot of uh, dishwashing sound effects in the background. Um, we, we, we bought this new kit where, uh, you know, we don't know how to use it, but all the sound effects are coming, leaking through. So sorry, guys. All right. So, uh, yeah, it, it is kind of, it, it's, it's, uh, I have suffered two concussions in my time when I played high school football. Um, and I do remember suffering some of the things I do. I might even have some of the, some of those uh, same things because I did. I played quarterback and I was five seven and three quarters, and uh, I took a lot of hits. Uh, and when I wasn't playing quarterback, I was playing uh, special teams. And I was uh, you know a safety, so it was a lot of contact, and I and I did suffer two concussions in a matter of two two weeks, like one, one after another. So and it was in '98, back before. There was any anything really important, so uh, it's uh, it's a subject that here on OBSPN we keep track of because also one of the, the things that people are are dealing and helping and has helped me and helped me when I started using cannabis to deal with a lot of that stuff. I used to have more headaches. I used to be very anxious. Um, you know uh, the pains that, are, that that came from you know some of those injuries too. But uh, I used, I used to get intense migraines when I uh, um, out in the sun. I used to wear glasses a lot more. Uh, and it, it was crazy, you know, I mean, and, and all of that was closer to the time when 
I was uh, playing and, and you know and getting the, the head injuries and I, and I feel maybe I've gotten better because you know some some of those don't happen anymore I, in the sunlight I don't get those hopefully it is maybe p because of cannabis maybe because you know uh, the, my life changed and you know it's less and less type of contact stuff but uh, at least I, that's why I see that there's hope there's hope for some people there's hope for for some of the, so, so, you know as far as recovery and being able to cope with it as opposed to using you know the pills and uh, and all the other alternatives that you know alcohol as well. You know, I mean, or self medication in any way. Uh, yeah, self uh, irresponsible self medication. Yeah. You know, because sometimes it's about you know, like um, self medicating. Med medicating is not bad once you when you educate yourself and you uh, you do it for the right reasons. You know, not to not you know to to get by to hear yourself, not just to make a plug up or to shove away or or run away from it. But uh, yeah, and, and there's an article on, on one of the uh, also floating around. I, I think we're sharing on, on the No BSPN Facebook page. Uh, in, in regards to 80% of, of users, uh, people who, who ha have used uh, the type of pills, painkillers, and whatnot, 80% of, of, of people who turn to marijuana uh, leave the pills altogether. You know, so so out of all the people that, that start using marijuana, that are former you know pill poppers and that were self medicating and whatnot, 80% uh, is 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 usually you know the success rate so far. So I don't know what happens to the other 20. Maybe they got crappy weed or something, right? Well, I, and again, uh, it, it all depends upon you know those pain pills. Also, they 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 tend to take their toll. They add up. Uh, you know, in, in in regards to for me, I they made me ill. Okay, I did not like those again those those opiates in regards to uh, you know the the Vicodin and the hydrocodone or our Percocets and all that. It makes you know you gotta you gotta take care of you know the business that that that, that when you're in your surgery and stuff. But again. Anti-inflammatories and stuff like that. I was just speaking with them at JT. They're off the air. You know, uh, we're getting old. We're still suffering from uh, the aches and pains of our little flag football game. There, you know, so, oh, from from you January. Know, yeah, you know, so it just you know it, it takes its toll as, as as time goes on there. And again, those prescribed medicine from those doctors. And that's one thing, but also in a way, in a healthy and organic terms, hey, cannabis it was was the way to go, and it was it was more uh, uh, it, 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 it was it was successful for me. Okay, uh, right here, a quote from uh, Dr. Walter Korish, who's the director of the National Institute for Neurological Disorders and Strokes, said uh, in a recent interview, at least at this early stage, it seems to be much more common than anybody imagined. That's kind of what we've been afraid of for a while, and we have data that is more widespread. I think we have significant problems, and that it's getting bigger and bigger. And uh, this guy, uh, Kor Koroshetz, He's uh, he's a guy you know he's one of the main people investigating and now working with the NFL uh, in regards to the CTE, which uh, you know it's uh, w what does it stand for again, Tim? It's so long. You know what? Uh, I can't even. I was trying to say it in Spanish because I was. We, we, I also do that. We do the Nug Life in Español Cannabis Education Show, and we covered the subject naturally because it's you know it's it's a very it's a it's a hot topic. And, you know, it's a topic not a lot of people cover because it has to do with cannabis and sports. And, you know, that's kind of why we're here. Chronic CTE. Chronic traumatic enciopathy. Enciopathy. That's a hard part. I need the chronic part. <laughs> yes, CTE. Hey, I did all right there. I had to, I had to slow down on that. Enciopathy. Slow it down. Enciopathic. Yes. So we'll probably try and it not. Is. It is. It's, it, it is. It's a brain. Uh, it's a brain dysfunction. And, it, you know, in regards to, uh, you know, permanent memory loss, uh, mood swings, depression, you know. Yeah. I mean? So and, uh, it, to continue, I remember we were talking about the list of players there. And uh, one really hits me uh, at home and personal. Oh, I'll, uh, most of us. God bless his, uh, God bless his soul. Mr. Junior Sale. Uh, Junior Sale uh, was. Charger linebacker who I, I can say also had a friend. I met him a few times. And, again, it has been confirmed that uh, uh, he, he suffered for such all right so uh Ke and kevin bean be nick I, I hope i'm saying the names right i'm a paisa but anyways he's a postdoc he does a postdoctoral research uh in the mayo clinic in the department of neuroscience and uh, this guy he said he, he identified 66 brains of people who had played contact sports remember it's not just football it's also hockey it's lacrosse you know, and soccer uh, when you're anything, playing in TJ. Uh, <laughs> anything, anything active. No, I agree. Soccer, you see those guys, there's no protected. Oh, Boy, how many times And then the headbutts. I've, yeah. I've had several yeah. head injuries yeah. with soccer, too, and uh, no concussions, but I hit hard as well. But anyways. But again, uh, again, baseball said, as watch, well. They said, baseball said they, well. found, they found signs of CTE in the brain of 21 people who played those contact sports, almost one in three. And they said they found no signs of CTE in the brains of the people who had not played contact sports. So, you know, the, the evidence is there. Uh, protect yourself as you know an athlete, uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, 
I don't know, man. You know, uh, sp spread the word. If you're if you're a cannabis, if you're a patient, you know, use it responsibly and, and spread the good word, man. You know, if you're an athlete, you know, just represent well. And you know, and I I know no good athletes. There are no good athletes that use cannabis that are bad athletes. You know, if you're if you're if you're a lazy person, usually you're gonna be smoking weed and you're not gonna be doing anything anyway. So, but anyways, it's <laughs> it's, it's a love we send uh, to 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 all the. You know, to all the fellow sports stoners, because I know those people that, you know, like myself, when I have time, you know, I'll, I'll pack myself a, a good sativa, you know, give me a little energy. I'll put my playlist and I'll go run, you know, 40, 45 minutes, you know, if I can. And I know those people that, that work out, they medicate, you know, and they pump iron, boom, boom, boom. And then you medicate after, too. You know, I do that, too. It's kind of like the thing. Uh, and it feels great. So, you know, w you know, this is a subject, you know, more information on that, go to Up TV Network, backslash no BSPN. We're going to post uh, the articles, all the articles and topics that we talk on the show. You guys can find them on there. Uh, we're going to go to our, uh, our first commercial break right now. When we come back, we're going to do the NCAA Bracketology. As uh, you know, you guys know it's getting hot. We had a couple of the, of the win in your end games going on. They're starting, one of them, starting at 3 o'clock, probably in the next couple of minutes. Uh, but yeah. tomorrow is a big day where it's down to what is it 68? Uh, well, yeah, it's a 68 team to get into. And, 68. Uh, yeah, yeah, big dance. Big dances begin as of last night. It, was, it is the playing games, and we have two more here tonight. So uh, yeah, uh, we we got a couple of things. We and we invite start. you guys uh, to join us. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, we are on the on the ESPN bracket uh, tournament or whatnot. Pick your, you know, make your picks. Uh, find the link on the No BSPN page, uh, or just search in the ESPN. Let's search for it. No BSPN podcast, and you're gonna find it. It's it's the uh, it's on the ESPN. App. ESPN, it's, you just yeah. go and search it. Join us. Uh, see who does the best. Men, women, children. Have your dog pick it. I don't know, man. Let's have a good time. There's a uh, you know just keeping track. And I know San Diego State isn't there, and you know they you know it's it's kind of shocking because we all thought it was you know it was building up to be a, you know one of the better teams according to talent. But whatever. Join us. I'm still going to pick San Diego State to win it all, guys, just so you know. Hey, no, 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 we'll bring that up, too. There's another thing called the National Invitational Tournament. Yeah, which is it's, it's pretty did, much uh, AYSO. They opened their first round yesterday. It's, we'll the, have AYSO, on yeah. it's the AYSO tournament of, uh, of, of you know, of, of NCAA basketball. But look, it up, look up your brackets. As we're saying, we have our own uh, – we have our group. Uh, it's the No BSPN Podcast, and that is on the ESPN Tournament Challenge. Okay, get those in uh, quick because uh, – games they are starting all right right before we hit the commercial uh find us online man we're on instagram on twitter on youtube on facebook at no bspn real easy we'll be back we're gonna take a quick commercial break and uh we'll return bracketology and more sports i'm benji that's him we'll be right back bye and it's a little stick it's a virgin glass it's made to put your flowers and your concentrate it's layered with a little piece of your flower you got two different types of wax then you have a caviar in the middle and you have another concentrate crumble on the top with another flower on the top you can hit it from two separate ways you can smoke it or you either can vape it go with the can of a turp stick turbo infuser in the back that rolls over your tongue and goes directly to your head available exclusively at the Vajal 420 store hey we're back we experience technical difficulties daily, so whatever. <laughs> Send your complaints to nobspn at gmail.com, or you can uh, tweet your, your complaints at nobspn, or you can uh, write it on a piece of paper or make a real nasty face and Instagram us at nobspn, and then you could just, you know, blame it on JT because he's doing tech today. I know of a circular file. You know, write a note, put it in a toilet, and flush it. We'll get it eventually. We will. We will. It, it, that's the nicest way of saying shove it. <laughs> I don't know if, if that's actually true, is it? Oh, yeah, you know, a message in a bottle, well, message comes down the stream, we can do it. We can, no problem. And that is, that, that's the right attitude to me. We that's, take all messages. We take all messages from all people at all times. Prefer the positive, though. Update on the NFL free agency. Uh, Malik Jackson decides to ditch the, the Broncos for the Jaguars straight up for money. He said, it's, you know, it's, it's our, it's business. Did you hear about that, Tim? Business is business, you know. Uh, I, I can think of plenty of players that jump shit for, for the money, you know. And, and, and they were just really explicit about it, like, yeah, this is for the money, bro. It, you know, it, it, it really is. Business is business. And as we were just talking, you know, the, this game of NFL, it, it's a tough it's a tough contest. And, and you know what? A lot of times uh, players don't, uh, you know, their, their, their expectations in uh, years of uh, seniority uh, that don't, don't go far. So, hey, when they're young, they got to take it while they can get it, you know. I mean, 
All right, so let's get into uh, the bracketology. I wish we had a cool graphic or something, right? We could go. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, well, a graphic if I can edit this, probably not. Um, okay, Timmy. So where do we begin, man? Tell us uh, to give us a little insight. Come on, give us an intro. Uh, the March Madness has begun. Uh, you know, we had two games last night, play-ins, um, and uh, local uh, San Diego State fans like myself and Benji, you included. Uh, we, you know, we did get snubbed from the tournament there. Uh, yeah. You know, so that was a, that was not a shock, but it was womp, kind of a, it was womp. a heartbreak because we did lose the uh, Mount West tournament to Fresno State, who got their ticket. Who got punched. their ticket in? Man. Yeah. So uh, San Diego State. Uh, By the way, the I NIT. didn't pick them. Ah. <laughs> NIT San Diego. Oh, oh, there we go. We'll go there eventually. Um, you know, San Diego State's in the NIT who won their first round, so they got about a week off, and they'll be hosting uh, Washington uh, here at San Diego State University. We'll be waiting for that and one. And free tickets to uh, current San Diego State Aztec fans to try and fill that place up. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, man. The, the, the show will be there. I was part of that show back in 2005. Remember that? Back that in was the day? fun. We were the early kids. Basically, that's when we stunk there, Benji, and they were yeah. actually begging us to fill the stands. I remember that. I remember they that, brought the change. My, my last year. They brought in Coach Fish, and hey, things were looking really good. That was cool. Yeah, that was. It's was it fifteen years already? How long? Two thousand, two thousand one. It was uh, two thousand. I was I graduated in 05, and he was just coming in then. So, there you yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, 15, it was fun. Ten years ago. I yes, guess. ten years. Uh, I, yeah, eleven 10 years, years ago. All right, we suck at math. This is sports, uh, not not the math podcast. But uh, big big stuff going. You know, and everybody get your brackets in. We've been announcing. ESPN's got a good challenge going. Everyone's out there. CBS Sports Network. Uh, mm-hmm. Vegas, us no B. ESPN, we've we've created our own group. So yeah, we we are on the on the No BSPN one. I'm sorry, the No BSPN podcast is on the ESPN one. And we have we have guests that have submitted their uh, their, their brackets. Oh as yeah, well. we have JT been, here, Tech Tech JT over here. JT's uh, got his going. Uh, Mr. John Vid's got his going. We're now, gonna get okay. Monica from uh, Nug Life in Espanol. Monica Slovatiski. I saw her working hard over there. I yeah, she's the, preparing yeah. for the show. We have a show at, at like five o'clock or something. Oh okay. Or four thirty or something. Yeah, we're gonna be on the air at one point. That's good, but uh, you know, again, I, I, if you want to just look at it, you know, we let's, have two go, games. let's go straight to it. We, we had two games last night, and uh, right. uh, Benji, I don't, I don't know. I'm looking at my scorecard here. Uh, I, I know, got, I, the, I uh, picked, I picked uh, Vanderbilt, and I also picked uh, uh, Dickinson, and then both of them lost. They, uh, they both got, you know, there was, uh, there were, there was big uh, losses there. So, and then today, uh, I, I picked Michigan, uh, and then I'm picking uh, Holy Cross. You know, the, uh, on today's uh, matchups, uh, you know what? Really, there's that that good game, that Michigan Tulsa game right there. You know what? Uh, that that that's going to get really good. I look for that one to be close. But who you I'm got taking, on that I'm one? I'm taking Big Michigan on Michigan, that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking Michigan, and uh, I got Southern in the uh, first game. Uh, Southern and Holy Cross. They should be uh, hey Benji. They should be tipping off here less than an hour. Boop boop boop. That should be a lot of fun. All right, let's just let's go into the the, the brackets and the picks and and, and stuff. Uh, okay, so uh, which one you want? Where do you want to start? South. Oh well, if you want to go in there, yeah, we you know, we just go we can just go with our first rounders, you know. Let's go, uh, yeah. Our first rounders down there on the first south. round uh, today. Yeah, uh, no, uh, it starts. Uh, that tip off is going to be tomorrow. No, I'm saying we're doing we're doing yeah. we're picking first round today. Yeah, th- yeah, those are going to be tomorrow tip off. So uh, my goodness, we're, you know, looking at the number one seed Kansas right there against Austin P. And um, I picked Kansas. I think it was an easy one, right? Yeah, that was kind of a kind of a for sure uh, no brainer. And then Colorado right? and UConn. Hey, this is this is this is the first tough match. Yeah, here. it was. And I went with UConn, although I think Colorado might f me up. Uh, uh, you know what? I gotta say, I've got UConn. Ah, so, there you yeah, go. Ooh, we're, Timmy we're and Benji, so, huh? stay on the scene. Uh, UConn looking solid, especially after that uh, prayer in the uh, third oh, yeah. overtime. That's that why I, I, maybe they have another one. I, and UConn, they always play good. Come the big dance time. Maryland and South Dakota State. Uh, you know what? Got to go with Maryland Terps yeah, on this. Yeah, me one. too. I was like, hmm, hmm, not, 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 this isn't gonna be an out dubs that I'm picking, and uh, and then Cal and Hawaii. Now there is an upset special. I right picked here a Y too. Making. See, uh, <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, I looked at this and I've done a few brackets. Yeah. But in this one here, Benji, I gotta tell you something. I'm going with my homeboys, Cal. Oh, but yeah, that, that, okay. Uh, that's also. A I shit like deal. them too, man. But you know, it's 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 one, they've lost some games <laughs> to some questionable people. So you know that maybe this is it. Uh, how about Arizona and Wichita State? Um, I like know, Wichita State too, but. It's Arizona. Yeah, Wichita State. They played great last night. Fourteen point win over Vandy. Um, I got Zona. Yeah, me too. Damn man. We're, aside from the Hawaii one, we're right on. Uh, Miami and Buffalo. The U. See, here we go. I, I, I hearing some kind of upset specials. I decided to pull one out of my you know back you? pocket. I'm going Buffalo. Buffalo. Oh yes. man, I'm I'm staying with Miami on that one. So there you go. There, now, now there's we're getting some separation here. Uh, how and then uh, Iowa and Temple. And see. Uh, 
There's another team I, I look at. Come, uh, you this know, is my this upset is, special. Well, yeah, one of my slippers right here. And I, yep, I, was I say, picked Temple on this you, one. Look at the upset. Uh, for some reason, that seven Iowa, you know, looks uh, it looks okay. They are in, inconsistent. Hey, that Temple team, especially come uh, uh, tournament time. All right, and I picked Villanova over UNC. Yeah, I concur with you on that one. Nova's going to go all the way on that. Oh, okay, cool. So we're on the same page to an extent. What about UNC? And uh, FGCU. Oh, we go over here. Uh, yeah, we east. go over here to the east. Uh, to east, the east, east, now. east, east zone. Um, yeah, you had uh, yeah, yeah, Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, who I kept just UNC. Killed them last night. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know those guys. They they won one, but uh, we, go we've been them. we've been following UNC the whole season long. No the care. whole February madness. <laughs> okay, uh, USC and Providence. Well, this is a team I've been looking at for a while. I and picked I love Providence. Them. I love them from the east. Uh, yeah, you got to go Providence. You know, SC, you know, they're they're inconsistent. Indiana and Chattanooga. Uh, go go Hoosiers, Indiana all day. Uh, I concur on that one. So actually on this one, I, I went with another, you know, it might, might not happen. Although I think I might have slipped on that one. I don't think I would pick against Indiana. Whatever, dudes. Um, Kentucky and Stony Brook. You know what? Ah, oh, man, I want to pick Stony Brook, but I can't, you know, because it's Stony Brook. You know, I was wondering, is there a little, uh, I bet you that might be a Jewish stoner princess. She'll go She's with gonna, I she hope she picks names. it. I she hope she picks names. it. See, that's why I was like, I think she might just slaughter. She might pick the right names. <laughs> but uh, those Kentucky Wildcats, uh, you gotta, I got to give them the, the nod yeah, on that. Yeah, man, I just, sorry, weed. I love weed, but uh, Kentucky loves basketball. Notre Dame, the Golden Domers, I picked them over uh, Michigan Tulsa. Yeah, uh, well, here it is. Notre Dame is waiting for the winner tonight, Michigan-Tulsa, which is going to be a tough game, as I just mentioned. It doesn't matter. Benji, here's my upset special. I have Michigan tonight beating yeah. Tulsa, and I have and you, Michigan, Michigan tomorrow. going oh. in to beat Notre Dame. Yes. All right, big guy. That's a, that's a good one. Mm. But I'm going stick, to stick with Notre Dame on my pick, man, just because. Uh, Wash, uh, West Virginia and Stephen F. Austin. Yeah, hey. Good guy. That's good a thing. good school, man. I heard good things about that. That could be Austin. an upset too. Yes, I, uh, I should have picked it, but I went with West Virginia. I, I I read a little bit. They score it well, and they got good defense. That Stephen F. Austin, and that's a little sleeper team you can keep an eye I, on. I out think there. that's going to be but, the sleeper team in but, this um, section. I'm sorry, I, I did take West Virginia as well. There you now. go. <laughs> we talk all this, but we end up being like, oh, but sorry, Wisconsin and Pittsburgh. You know, another good one. Yeah, man, you know, a lot seven, is a good one. Seven and ten team right here. One of these right here, a seven and a ten seeds. You know what? Out of the top uh, sweet 16, 50%, 60% of the time, they advance to the eight. So uh, I, I got to tell you something right here. I'm going Wisconsin. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I concur, Dr. Tim. Uh, Xavier and a Weber State. I'm sorry, Weber State. You're not going to be the upset special. Uh, you know, was it Weber or Weber or bread? No, just kidding. Um, no, yeah, it's I, Weber got, or Weber. Uh, you know, I think it's Weber State. Weber, because Weber has two B's, right? Yeah, yeah. B, uh, so Weber State, and I believe they're from Utah. They're in, they're in the Utah. I'll look that up. Whatever, yeah, in Utah. Um, but hey, Xavier Musketeers. Xavier. Okay, so uh, we got two minutes before the break. Two minutes, thirty minutes. We're, we're gonna go ahead and try and uh, we'll do the West. Let's do the West. Let's yeah, see we how much. Yeah, we do the West, and then when we come back, we'll do. Uh, the other West, and then we'll do a little Cinderellas. Where what we is it? Throw in, we always got to throw in our Cinderellas at the end of. of oh, okay, segment. cool. But all right, well, we'll, we'll go to the right, West to here me. real quick. The West, uh, the West. We're looking at the number one team coming out of the West, Oregon versus. Well, the winner. Looking at the winner tonight, that Holy Cross Southern game. Um, I yeah, went with I, Oregon. I'm going Oregon Ducks. Quack. And uh, and then there's St. John's and Cincinnati. Uh, it's actually St. Joseph's. St. Joe's, believe oh, it or Saint not. Oh, St. Joe's. Yeah, St. Joe's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's a different actually, one. I've seen, I've seen that campus. Beautiful campus. Oh. Playing the Cincinnati Bearcats. Now, let me tell you something. We I love the eight, Bearcats. You have an eight and a nine seed right here, Benji. This is a lookout. And, oh, by the way, I'm putting this on as my as my team, St. Joe's. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, well, I went with the Bearcats. So there you go. There's a different difference in there. Baylor, I picked Baylor over Yale. And this one, too, as we say, there's always those upsets. Yale. Yale. Okay. Yale, those smart kids are going to come out of nowhere. In that yeah, and basketball, it's a different game. <laughs> uh, Duke and UNC Wilmington. Uh, I, hey, I got to go Duke. Duke. I'll go Coach K there for sure. Uh, I, I picked Texas to be upset by Northern Iowa. You know, uh, Benji, that Northern Iowa team. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I followed. Yeah. And I got them. Yeah. <laughs> See, I knew it. And then uh, Oregon State, I picked them to lose to VCU. Uh oh yeah you got um you know what we'll go down there we got a seven seed Oregon State mm-hmm. and a ten VCU um I I had to go with Oregon State because of the way they played they've been playing it uh the last couple of games I have there, not so. I can't I can't say I've been paying was, that I much attention coin. I kind of flipped a coin ah uh, there you go yeah. well I kind of just picked 
And here's uh, and then finally, before we go to break, Oklahoma and CSU Bakersfield, man. Um, I'm gonna John Vid. I know you're out there working. This is for John. Okay, Uh-oh. we were talking about this last right, night, Benji. Right. This is a true story. Uh oh. He is tired of betting on or rooting or or Oklahoma. selecting Oklahoma, and we thought about it. We did some homework last night. You know what? That Cal Bakersfield team is really, really good. All right. He has Cal Bakersfield as his big upset special. But I'm gonna, you know, that that's for you, John. But for me, you know, I, I gotta say Oklahoma. Sorry, Bakersfield. But uh, uh, good. John, we had a good conversation and argument. Well, I I, 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 yeah, man, I stayed with Oklahoma. That was another one. So there you go. Go. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to do the last remaining section, which is the Midwest. And then, uh, you know, shout out. Right? This is No BSPN Podcast with Tim Ocker and Benji Garcia. We'll be right back. And it's a turkey stick. It's a virgin glass. It's made to put your flowers and your concentrate. It's layered with a little piece of your flower. You got two different types of wax. Then you have a caviar in the middle. And you have another concentrate crumble on the top with another flower on the top. You can hit it from two separate ways. You can smoke it or you either can vape it. Go with the can of turp stick, turbo infuser in the back that rolls over your tongue and goes directly to your head. Available exclusively at the Vajal 420 store. We are back. I'm Tim Ocker, no Hey, what up? There's my man. He was just making sure it was good. The old control tower there. And it uh, was. Oh, yeah, had a boy. You know, again, we've been going through this uh, college basketball March Madness tournament. And, but uh, before we finish up with that, we want to take a pause and uh, do a quick shout out to our Cannabis Hero of the Week, who is a former NHL superstar and uh, Stanley Cup. Winner, Darren McCarty. The applause. Do we have the machine working with applause now? Detroit. Yes, we do. Detroit Red, Red Wings defenseman. Yes, Darren McCarty. Yes, sir. Um, this this uh, uh, the reason he is the cannabis hero of the week today is because he's recently come out uh, publicly, you know, saying that he's now using cannabis to fight off alcoholism. He says uh, about four, four, I don't know how long ago, but uh, according to this article, it's, this is when this article, yeah, this article from March 4th, and this is a quote directly from him. Through my journey, a lot of stuff that has taken from me, I've been able to apply in life today. Everybody's different. You've got to find out what your program is. My program involves medical marijuana because that's what keeps me out of alcohol. So, you know, another big applause and shout out to Darren McCarty, former Detroit Red Wing and, and, and now cannabis hero. Sports here here on OBSPN. So uh, there you go, man. Yeah, that's uh, that's big. That's big to come, come to the table. Honestly. All right. So uh, now back to finishing off what we came here to do, the brackets. And where do we leave off at? Uh, I think what, we're, Midwest. We're, we're in Midwest now. Midwest. Right, Midwest. Yeah. All right. So uh, I picked you, University of Virginia, to uh, you know send Hampton packing. Yeah, that well, that one right there. That was pretty much uh, a given. I got to go Virginia with you on that. All right, and then I picked Butler over Texas Tech. Although Texas Tech, I like the Red Raiders. I always do. They're a big basketball school, but Butler has been. Butler. That's a, that's a big game right there. And again, that was a coin flip. I couldn't really put my finger on either. But another eight I, nine. I gave Butler. Yeah, right, I another gave eight Butler nine. Butler, a nod there. And then I actually picked uh, Little Rock to upset Purdue. I probably shouldn't, but whatever. That was no, being adventurous. You, you need those. And again, yeah. there's your upset special. Um, you know, In this I, bracket. I, I will disagree with you. I really like the Boilermakers out of Purdue. Yeah. Well, I had to pick something. Everything else was too common. Yeah. And, and then Iowa versus, is that Iona? It's, uh, yeah, Iowa State Cyclones and Iona. Iona. Uh, yeah, another small school. I didn't even, they, I didn't even, you know, I picked I, too many small schools already, so Iona didn't get my pick. I went with Iowa State. Iona's been there the past couple of years oh. in this tournament, and uh, I got to tell you something, though. Uh, yeah, I got to go Iowa State on that. Sorry. And then uh, uh, I picked Seton Hall to uh, over, uh, sorry, I, I picked Gonzaga over Seton Hall. These two teams. I really like. Good. I really like. This is a tough game yeah. right here. On my bracket, I had to go with the hot Seton Hall team. Uh. Gonzaga is one of my favorites uh, uh, in regards to uh, always keep an eye on when it comes into. So uh, it was really hard for me. But in another pool, I do have Gonzaga in that. So you know, you, uh, can, go either, you can go either way on that. Honestly, but uh, in this one, Seton Hall. Seton Hall. Yeah, uh, I pick Utah to to beat where San Diego State would have been. Yeah, to beat ben, the Bulldogs. Yeah, from Fresno Benji, State. Yeah, what is that? Uh, yeah, Fresno State. Uh, you know, Fresno State came in as a 14 seed. I saw kind of the same thing. San Diego yeah. State was going to be a 15 or a 14. 14. So there it is. It landed there. But uh, yeah, Utah Utes, uh, I, I think, are playing better basketball. And then Syracuse uh, uh, is going to beat Dayton. I. 
God, that's a good pick. It really is. <laughs> it, that is a good pick because you got to go with Cuse when it comes tournament time. Uh-huh. Although I flipped a coin on this. I think Benji, that's the highest seed. Benji, though. I flipped a coin on this one here uh, in the seven and the ten, and the Dayton Flyers came oh. out on my end, and I, I really All hate right. to go. I hate I to like, go against the Orange. I like the fact we don't have the same picks. That's how yeah. it should be. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. No, and then, I, and then I, I hated it. And then the Spartans. Uh, I picked the Spartans over Mid Tennessee. Uh, Michigan State, yeah. Michigan. yeah. Michigan State. Michigan State's solid. Uh, look out for them. You guys the can way. check out these picks and make your own uh, at No BSPN on Facebook. We have the link and we're going to share it on, on the Twitter. Uh, go on ESPN and uh, Google No BSPN podcast bracket and, and join in. You see how you fare against us. We have uh, JT here, one of our techs uh, on the show, also has his bracket there, and we're going to try and get. Uh, Monica Slavatiski from Nug Life uh, and Espanol to do that with us as well. That should be fun. Okay, cool, man. Uh, wow, well, man, it's uh, the show's almost done. We're doing this thirty-minute version. That way, we can do more of them and and keep you up to date. And you guys can can share. Uh, you guys can email us at any point uh, and and you know give us your advice or tell us you know what would be cool. Some things we need to try. We can uh, broadcast remotely. We can, you know, so if you have a, a business or, or an event and you want us to be there and, and stream it live, you know, for you guys and, you know, do our show from there, have some guests, we can totally do that. Uh, email us, nobspn at gmail.com. We're willing to make it happen. What did we learn today, Timmy? Uh, we learned today, uh, <laughs> let's see here, we, uh, we learned we know a little bit about CTE. Yes, yeah, CTE that the NFL and uh, basically professional sports now should really be aware and be taking the uh, and have taken the nece- uh, necessary precautions, but continue doing and uh, looking out for the safety of uh, of the of, athletes. Of right? the athletes. Yeah. And on that same note, you know, we learned about Darren McCarty, who is a former world champion with the uh, with the Detroit Red Wings, and how he's been using marijuana to fight off alcoholism, which is you know another way uh, athletes once again need help. You know, an alternative, not just for regular pain, but, you know, regular, you know, uh, other types of uh, illnesses like, you know, alcoholism, depression. Uh, But anyway, so I I guess that's what we learned, no? Uh, We learned that. We also learned March Madness. March Madness is Oh, yeah. Oh, before we go, before we we end up, I I, I jumped all around. Before, Timmy, I believe, you know, there are some uh, Cinderella uh, picks and stuff. According to some uh, well-known websites, did you pick any of these? I don't know if I did. So let's. What, what do we get, Timmy? Well, you know, again, you have your Cinderellas and you have your teams, uh, your sleeper picks or whatever that you know to come in. Um, I'm quoting ESPN here, and I, I tend to agree with a few of them. Um, you know, there's there's a couple of teams like a, a, a Butler for once uh, ah. we, we mentioned and has done it before in years past. Watch I picked, out for a Butler team. I picked Butler. Um, uh, this one, uh, Davidson. Uh, Davidson is uh, another team they rank up there to uh, you know just keep an eye on. Didn't I, pick them. I, no. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I can't really agree with that one. Uh, VCU. Yeah, VCU. I would have to agree with. Again, they they are another team that that I made didn't. it inside. They made it inside the Elite Eight. Uh, I want to say three, two, three years back. So oh, that VCU. Team I did still, not pick them. And I did mention it earlier. A uh, Wichita, Wichita State yeah, Shockers. Keep an eye on them. Yeah, Wichita and, State. And last but not least, that Gonzaga. Gonzaga Bulldogs. Woo, yeah, Gonzaga. See? See? All right. So I think I got two of those. How many of those were? Eight? How many did they pick right there? Uh, that's uh, matter of, Yeah, there's eight of them. And there's also mentioned Cincinnati Bearcats. The Cincinnati Bearcats. Hey, I got those two. All right. See? I'm feeling pretty good, kids. There you pretty, go. Pretty, pretty, pretty freaking good. Me, I only have one of them, believe it or not, but that's okay. You know? Hey, it's bracketology. Yes, it is. That's that's pretty rad. Awesome and awesomeness. Um, okay. On tomorrow's show, because we're going to be on tomorrow, 30 minutes. Uh, we don't know what time yet. And it doesn't matter because you guys are probably listening to us on the download. But uh, if you guys do want to watch us and you guys can chat with us live, we're going to try to have a phone in. Uh, no BSPN is available at uptvnetwork.com uh, backslash no BSPN. Uh, we have some episodes up there. Some are audio. Some are video. The video is kind of just us staring into the camera kind of like right now, except some of them. Sometimes we switch around. We use the switcher because we set it up and we have time. But anyway, what? Where do you go? Uh, but there's a, one of the episodes we got has a, the graphics where we have the time down. You know, we're trying to work with different formats to entertain you guys and and get the the, the most sports pot information to you guys the fastest and the most you know entertaining way. You know, like uh, and, and that, that's kind of what separates us from other shows. And we do it by any means necessary. Yeah, we do it by any means necessary. You guys come and tell us, and we will. You guys, if you guys aren't watching this on video, you're missing it. I'm doing the snap. 
whatever it takes. Oh, the triple snap. Yeah, yeah. it's only only on UpTV Network, guys. <laughs> cool. Uh, aside from that, tomorrow we're going to have a little bit more on uh, on uh, opiates, on opiate use, uh, some statistics. There's a couple articles out there we're going to try and lead you guys on. Uh, we got some top stories in the NFL. We're going to give you guys a, a, an updated NFL uh, a tracker. A couple and of Charger signings as and, well. And re-signings. And then uh, some, some MMA news, some some noise going on with McGregor and UFC 200. Also, we a little bit of baseball update. There's been spring, you know, spring ball. And I, I believe there's a couple of injuries out there, and and we'll see. It's it's just spring ball, but you know, we'll see a lot of how some teams are faring, right? All right Padres, you know, spring training. And four, then uh, four wins. Oh That's man! Oh, oh, oh well, we'll get Thanks. to we will get to that tomorrow. It, it doesn't count until April, so. And then uh, also, uh, it's Thursday, so that means horse racing, right? So we, we should be able to have some horse racing uh, update uh, as far as, uh, I don't know, what, we got anything in the Kentucky Derby? Any? Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll scrounge around and take a look. Uh, Kentucky Derby favorites, uh, or not favorites, but uh, prospects keep uh, coming and going. So, yeah, I'll give you an update on that, yeah. If not, we'll have a PGA. If not, we'll uh, Google some <laughs> some NHL or some badminton news. That way we, we fulfill the, the time, you know, what we're trying to do, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, we won't forget about the NBA. I guess they're playing some basketball, too. Do we ever? I don't think we ever do forget about them. But uh, cool, man. This has been the No BSPN Podcast. Uh, thank you guys for, for watching. You guys have been awesome. Um, follow us uh, I'm oh, on, on Twitter. Uh, I'm at the Medi Mexican on Twitter. I'm TA19 on Instagram. On Instagram. Look me up on Facebook. Yeah, I'm on Instagram at, at Ben Garcia Reyes, and you guys just can find us on Instagram. Uh, and JT's on there too. You guys can follow him. Like the show. Hey, come on. Uh, go check us. Uh, stay tuned if you guys uh, speak Spanish or, or not. Uh, we got uh, Nug Life in Español. Check that out. But we also we also have the Ghetto Blaster Show on Monday nights. The, those are both available on Spreaker and on SoundCloud. You guys can check those out as well as No BSPN. Um, yeah. Check out soon. Uh, like the page for the Functional Stoner. It's a it's a it's a new cannabis education show that we're doing in English. It's a panel of entertainers, the activists, and uh, and business people in the industry. And you know, it's pretty much we we, we chit chat and we talk and, and discuss about hot topics going on in the world. So check out that. No, the Functional Stoner also on all the other social media outlets. All right. If uh, there's nothing else left to pander or sell. Just like to thank uh, you know some people you know, like Bao Zhao 420 uh, Benji. Uh, let's see, uh, we would like to thank uh, JP. Thank you very much, JT, up there doing your job. Uh, appreciate you being by today. Uh, fill out your brackets. Uh, let's see, uh, go San Diego State uh, again. Thanks for having us here, TA Media Studios. Uh, Benji Garcia Reyes. Yes, you know, we love you. It's been a great one.